Hello friends, it's Bill, Bill's Box of Sound, and I've got a little tip for you. First of all, I want to show you this record that uh, I just opened up from a collection that I bought. Look, it's the Kansas album Mask, and it's a white label promo. Looks like it's never been played before. <sighs> However, there is some... Ugh. See if I can get that off of there. There's a hair on there that I'm getting off. And uh, so I'm going to go and stick it on the little turntable and, um, and clean it up. But I think I'm going to encounter a little problem because when I encountered this problem, I said I should show this to uh, the people in the vinyl community, just in case you didn't know about this little tip before. Let me check. Let me show you right now. Okay, this is the turntable that I use to clean my records with. So don't make any remarks about how I'm pressing on the platter or anything like that, okay? So, here's the record, and I try to put it on here, and it won't go down. I mean, if I, if I push it hard enough, it will go down, so it's really tight, but I've seen some records that are so tight, they will barely go down at all. How do you take care of that? Well, I'll show you. You see this thing here? This is called a reamer. And, um... I bought this because I had a record that was really pressed off center. And I was trying to take the reamer and uh, whittle out the middle hole so that the record would not spin so off center um, on the turntable. It was a horrible experiment. It failed terribly. So, but I have found it to be handy when finding a record that has a hole that's just a little bit too small. So you don't push it really hard. Just take it in there, turn it a little bit. Don't push it. Let gravity do its work and do that. That's all. Okay. Now take it off and you put it back on here and boom, it fits in there. It's tight. It doesn't wiggle in there. So that's your tip for today. If you, uh, if you ever come across that, get yourself a reamer. Um, I bought this years ago, so I don't know if this is made by this company anymore or not, but uh, that's how you deal with tight center holes on your vinyl. Have a great day. Had a great time, hope you did too, etc., etc. Love you, folks.